I want you to make this picture for me, David. But we got a problem. You do solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes, I do. Zanuck wants your name cleared as soon as possible. So what's my name cleared of what? Uh, your profession is that of a film director, is it not? Yes, sir. My clients have reputations to uphold. They're very careful about, you know, who they're associated with. So am I. Mr. Merrill, are you now a member of the Communist Party? Now, Graf has asked the committee to give you this opportunity to explain your past affiliations. Well, there's nothing to explain. I went to a couple of meetings. That's it. Your affiliations and those of others. What others? In 1951, the House Committee on Un-American Activities stole the nation's headlines. They're looking to get that picture in the paper, and Hollywood gets it there. By attacking creative community of Hollywood. Did you do what Zanuck said? I did do what he said. No, you didn't. What you pull a picture. Through a campaign of censorship. We need to protect this country from the ideas that they're spreading through their films and their television shows. And fear. Are they going to kill you? Nobody's going to kill me. That's what they do to the Reds. Whose homes did those Communist Party meetings take place? Don't you have an ounce of decency? I need permission to use your name, David. You want my permission to inform on me? In whose homes were some of these meetings held? Why don't you just give them what they want, David? All my friends, gone. I'm being followed by the FBI everywhere I go. You're dead, David. D-E-A-D, -E dead. I want to know how many communists you knew. I want to know how many you know. I want to know how many you've worked with. I want to know their names. Payloads, aim points, rate of burn. It's everything we ever wanted to know about the Russians. Sounds like the pot of gold. Good God. An address to boozy Barley Blair. Barley Blair took a chance because he had nothing left to lose. I'm offering you a fresh start. It's voice activated, sir. You're a fool to use me. I let people down. Katya Orlova took a chance because she had everything to gain. If you love peace, take this to England to Mr. Scott Blair. It is better that you smile. How did you recognize me, Mr. Barley? Well, Nicky said you were Russia's answer to the Venus de Milo. Together, they took the most dangerous chance of all. It's me. Do I disturb you? Deeply. They fell in love. Marley's made contact. Are you a spy? Answerer? We are going with your man. What is the matter? Are you afraid? If it's not safe for me, then it's not safe for you. Why is he driving? Get rid of him, Clive. I am motivated by my love for Katja or Lola. No. What are you doing? Don't! What did he say? The Russia House. From a million to one shot. He became a true champion of the world. Now, the glory. Because of the continuous violent blows to the head, the effects are irreversible. The crowds. My husband is retired. He has nothing more to prove. And the money are gone. You lost millions. Look, I still got my place in the old neighborhood. His title is in the hands of a new champion. He might win a few fights, but he's no Rocky Balboa! Controlled by an unscrupulous promoter. This is your medical report. It's not so good, but we can work around it. All that's left is his family. We've been down before. I'll get it all back. His heart. I gotta fight, okay? I got a problem, I gotta fight. 
and a dream. A dream to get it all back. This is a tremendous opportunity. Opportunity for who? For you to make money for him to be disabled? You know he can't carry Balboa and stuff. As long as they got Balboa on the brain, he'll always be champ. Got to challenge that man to fight. And if he refuses, then you got to insult him. You got to dog him. You got to humiliate him. You got to do whatever you got to do to get him into that ring. Hey, Tommy, you're a piece of garbage, you know that? No! Touch it! You told him I'd fight anywhere, anytime. In the ring, in the ring. Tommy Gunn only fights in the ring. My ring's outside. Yeah. Let's do it. Come on, Tommy, knock me out. I think we're looking at a body count of 50 to 100,000 people. Secret. I gave you one thing to do, just one thing, to secure that package for 12 hours. Stolen. Now, six hours later, the base is on fire. There's a morgue full of Marines. We can't find that goddamn package anywhere. The most awesome weapon ever made. And this is big, Mike. Bigger than even you can imagine. Has gone missing. <laughs> We can report that a total of eight Marines were killed and six wounded in last night's raid. Were all the casualties the result of the bombing or was there any exchange of gunfire? The CIA are looking for an enemy. Why don't you just say both of us a whole lot of trouble and tell me what you and Cooper had going on. One man is hunting for the truth. Coop said everything was in this file, from Langley to Barzell. Whatever's going on here, I'm gonna find it, and I don't care what you do. We've got wires on you, got tails on you, but nobody here is trying to kill you. You don't know when to let things alone, do you? In an instant. At three o'clock, the bells in the church of the Holy Sepulchre will chime. Without a warning. If you break our little deal. What is someone very clever who is trying to provoke an international incident? The terror. I won't be responsible for what happens to you. Maybe even a war. Has begun. <laughs> Dolph Lundgren. Lou Gossett Jr. Cover up. Let it roll tonight. Clint Eastwood is a fugitive hunter, and he's full of surprises and disguises in Pink Cadillac. That's right, cowboy. <laughs> we'll pick you up at six o'clock in a long black limousine, Batey baby. Oh, he's good. There's no question about that. He's so good, he's got to die. The Birthright Gang has a score to settle, and they'll stop at nothing. But Bernadette Peters is Clint's biggest trouble, and he's hot on her tail. Once he finds her, he's in for the ride of his life. Yeah, I got a word for that woman. Obviously a hardened criminal. I can tell by the Cupid Bow lips. This is so wrong. Oh, this is a uh, gray day U.S. government green. Give me a break. Too much raw dude for you, huh, babe? Well, I can dig it. If my life were a movie, there'd be a sign on it saying, Caution, some scenes too intense for younger viewers. <laughs> Clint Eastwood, Bernadette Peters, a wild pair on a fast ride. The room. Didn't anyone ever tell you you shouldn't mess with a man's vehicles? Pink Cadillac. Look out for more exciting previews of forthcoming releases from Warner Home Video at the end of this feature presentation. This film has been classified 18, which means it's for adults only. It's an offense for your shop to supply an 18 video to anyone under that age. An 18 film will certainly have an adult theme and may contain graphic scenes of sex or violence. There might also be some very explicit language, which will frequently mean sexual swear words. <laughs>